My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Hit subscribe right now. You definitely, definitely want to get the take of somebody who has been speaking about this since 2015. It is now 2019, late 2015, March 2nd, 2015. I was actually on MSNBC's Last Word with Lawrence O'Donnell. I wrote a Huffington Post article. They wanted to talk about it, so I was on. I was in the green room or waiting in the the room where you wait uh, to to be let on to the to the set where there's a camera, and I saw on the screen. Oh, um, Clinton email used private email used private email. So I didn't even know if I was going to be on. And that's the day, March 2nd, 2015, when it started. Now, people say, oh, AJ, why do you bring up everything you've done? Because you're watching this channel for a reason. Because I've been around, the, I, I've, I've been calling what's taking place, discussing what's taking place, especially regarding the, Clinton, regarding the Clinton email investigation, when I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, or according to the Washington Post, Bernie uh, Sanders' most uh, unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore fans. I was speaking about all of this in 2015 and 2016. I was taking heat for all of this because they didn't want to hear it on the left. They didn't want to hear it, and they lost. I also wrote that she couldn't win. She lost. But now it's coming to... A conclusion eventually will she get indicted next week I don't know will she get indicted uh, the last couple of months of Trump's presidency Trump's second term I don't know but she's gonna get indicted eventually I've been saying that since 2016 and I've also been saying since 2015 that she committed major major crimes now you have a what a New York Times article now you have a New York Times article. It's it's so ridiculous. FBI opened inquiry into whether Trump was secretly working on behalf of Russia. Well, okay. This is what a breakthrough this is. Let's let's check Peter Strzok word search. No, not even a guy named Peter. Uh, Strzok. No, 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 no. Peter Strzok. Nothing. This is probably what ten thousand words. This article or whatever five thousand words. Nope. No Peter Strzok. Okay, what about uh, Andrew McCabe? McCabe? Nope, no Andrew McCabe. No Andrew McCabe. Nope, no Andrew McCabe. Okay, what about uh, Brennan? No, what about the Steele dossier? Oh, only Christopher Steele. No, no dossier. No mention of dossier. What about CrowdStrike? Nope, no. So, there's no evidence... For Trump working with Russia. They know that, so they have to double down on all the failed propaganda spin of the past two years. And the reason they don't mention CrowdStrike, the Steele dossier, uh, Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok, I think they might mention James Comey, yeah, because of, uh, oh my God, he fired James Comey. God forbid he, uh, you know, he's, uh, he, he does what's, um, what's allowed under the Constitution. God forbid he he um, engages in his constitutional right of firing anyone within the executive branch. He please that 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 he feels should be fired. There was an obstruction of justice, as William Barr wrote in his memo, like nineteen-page memo to Trump. He could have fired Comey, and that would not have obstructed any justice. If indeed there was evidence for an investigation, the investigation would have continued. Because you had Andrew McCabe. You had Peter Strzok still. You had all the people who hated Trump. So if you are stopping, if you are prevent, if you are ending an investigation that was illegally commenced or that, 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 that was started in an illegal manner by crooked cops, you're not obstructing justice. And this is what, I'll read you what, it doesn't mention CrowdStrike, this, this article in the, in, the New York, in the New York Times. Why? Because CrowdStrike is the only company to look at DNC servers. 
The United States government never looked at DNC servers. Why is that important? Because we have no clue. We have absolutely no clue if the DNC was even hacked. We have no clue. We have no. We we can only rely on CrowdStrike that was actually per, uh, outsourced. The Democrats gave CrowdStrike money. The Democratic National Committee gave CrowdStrike money. Money paid them to look at the servers because they didn't trust the U.S. government to look at their servers, but they demanded the U.S. government protect this country from the possibility that Trump worked with a foreign power to, poor, to hurt poor Hillary as she cheated Bernie Sanders. So how did... So this is the convoluted gaslighting. This is the, 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 the absurd, ludicrous way... The Democrats, and I'll get to the, the New York Times article, but the New York Times article is doubling down, trying to say, well, gosh, there was so much concern. You're supposed to read into that. Democrats and, and, and brainwashed uh, liberals read into it that, well, you know, there must have been a reason. If there was so much concern, there has to have been some evidence somewhere. Yet all they have is suspicion, zero evidence with Clinton, Cash flowed to the Clinton Foundation and Mid-Russian Uranium Deal. Bill Clinton met with um, Bill Clinton met with um, Vladimir Putin at his home, according to Newsweek, at his home outside Moscow. This is while the Uranium Deal was going down. He got five hundred grand to speak to a Moscow investment bank with ties to the Kremlin. William D. Campbell. We have a, uh, a, a, a an FBI informant who said, yeah, the, the, the Russian lobbyists were bragging about their influence over the Clinton Foundation. And we have all of this and more evidence than that. We have a bribery and racketeering scandal on U.S. soil. We have, oh, what a coincidence, Hillary Clinton opposing the Magnitsky Act. And, and Mueller, by the way, was privy to the bribery and racketeering scandal because he was the FBI director. And the FBI and the DOJ at that time indicted, the DOJ indicted a Russian official who was sent here, why? To bribe trucking companies, why? So that they could help move uranium. And we have uranium that was shipped out of the country. Out of the country into Canada. Yellow cake uranium. So William Barr has already stated, he's already stated that there's more reason to investigate Clinton than there is Trump. That's obvious. That is obvious. But you have the media and you have, I'll just, let's just get to this eight minutes in. Finally, we'll get to it. Okay, look. FBI opened inquiry into whether Trump was secretly working on behalf of Russia. On behalf of Russia, how? Was Obama working on behalf of Russia? when he completely reversed course in terms of U.S. foreign policy, Bush was said to be so belligerent towards Russia. Romney was said to be so belligerent that Obama said, oh, well, the 80s want their foreign policy back. There's, the Cold War is over. Of course, Putin wanted a, a, a reset. He was looking forward to Obama, but that was okay then. When President Obama was was uh, became president in 08, that was a good thing, even though it correlated or coincided with with Putin and Russia Russia interests. Now, they opened an inquiry into whether Trump was secretly working on behalf of Russia. Because my God Almighty, how could any president do anything that Russia would approve of? Oh my God! Oh my God! Russia approved of something. No, actually, Obama approved of the Russian uranium sale, which he could have vetoed. That's a fact, and he didn't. Then he went on CNN. There was this uh, news conference that CNN proudly, um, proudly um, publicized, where he's like, "Oh yeah, nobody can rig or, or uh, you know, you know, uh, cheat during a presidential election. Things are too decentralized." He's, uh, Trump is going to have to just accept the outcome. For two years, we've been hearing nonsense. 
absolute nonsense from Democrats who don't care about the intelligence community. They don't care about, you know, these agencies. They just care because the agencies are aligned with them until recently, hopefully until recently. Hopefully we get President Trump working with Gina Haspel or somebody, somebody working with Trump. William Barr, hopefully, hopefully. Trust Sessions, Trust Sessions, Trust Sessions. Uh, tippy tuppy top, tippy. I'm not saying trust Barr. I'm saying hopefully, hopefully William Barr will do something. He stated he wants to. And I've been saying since 2015 and 2016, I've been saying since 2016, she's going to get indicted. Clinton will eventually get indicted because there's too much criminal behavior. Bill Clinton also could be indicted. There's too much criminal behavior. They've spent, what, ten, what 20 years out of public life committing crimes, but hiding, hiding behind protocol and, and twisting, um, bending the law to the point where they're breaking the law. Rudy Giuliani stated there's bribery and racketeering statutes. There's espionage act statutes. You don't need a military tribunal. That's, it, you wouldn't even, you would not have that. For a, a citizen, you're not. It's not like you know. And then you're like, people are like, oh, this is treason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you know, to you and to me, we would view it as treasonous act, but it's not technically treason. What it is is technically taking top secret intelligence outside of the United States government onto a server that was unencrypted. That is the Espionage Act. That is U.S. Code seven ninety three F, which she should have been indicted under. And then you have the bribery and racketeering. But I'll read you. I'll read you this. In the days after President Trump fired James B. Comey, his FBI director, which he had every right to do, law enforcement officials, the translation, Andrew McCabe, who has a grand jury investigating him now, and Peter Strzok, who said, we'll stop Trump and there's an insurance policy, and Trump uh, brought that out today, became so concerned. Really, they were concerned? Or were they just continuing the setup? Or they were continuing covering up for Clinton by setting up Trump. Because Clinton actually did commit crimes, but she didn't intentionally do it. Trump didn't commit any crimes, but they were concerned. They're not concerned about Clinton, who actually did commit crimes, but they're really concerned that Trump could have possibly done something. This is the problem. This is the problem with logic in our society today. The new, this, is, this is the height of journalism. The New York Times. It's like... Like a a paper wrapper that that someone uses to just hide a, 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 a bottle of alcohol is worth more than a New York Times uh, piece that says that this is a big breakthrough. Um, you know, the FBI was so concerned, quote unquote, by the president's behavior. Well, what behavior? James Comey, according to the attorney, uh, according to Michael Horowitz, the IG report should have been fired just for being insubordinate. He was insubordinate. They hated him. He should have been fired for writing the Comey letter. He should have been fired for exonerating Clinton. All of these things. She deliberately transferred top secret intelligence. She's stupid. Do people think she's stupid that she just did it for yoga? She didn't know. She had, she had 22 top secret emails on a on a server, servers outside the U.S. government. And Brian Pagliano transferred this information. Nobody knows how he did it. It's impossible to transfer the information, but they found a way to do it. But that's okay because she didn't mean to. They're not concerned about that, but they're concerned about Trump firing Comey. A giant weasel. He had been working on behalf of Russia against American interests, according to... For, according... Okay, this is... Where is this base? According to former law enforcement officials and others familiar with the investigation. Okay. This is all you need to dis disregard this article and every other article. According to former law enforcement officials, is anonymous, unknown sources. And it, when pe like, people make the really flawed logical leap. Like, what about, uh, what about uh, uh, WikiLeaks? They have unknown sources. It, the things they publish are pristine. So when when a whistleblower gives information to WikiLeaks 
and they publish the information, you never hear Debbie Wasserman Schultz saying, I didn't write that. You never hear Hillary Clinton or Podesta saying, I didn't write that. They, they admit they've written it. Information's pristine. The fact that an unknown source is telling you something that is obvious hogwash and baloney, that's the problem. Same goes for message boards also. <laughs> it's the same thing. The fantasies on the left, but the fantasies on the left are different. Comedy Central is not going to clown them. Comedy Central will clown the fantasies of certain people. But according to former law enforcement officials, so Russian interests, so Obama wasn't working with Russian interests when he failed to veto a uranium sale. That definitely was not Russian interests. Oh, definitely not Russian interests there. Definitely not Russian interests. So ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe right now. This is an exam this is an attempt to double down on a failed, failed propaganda narrative. They still don't have any evidence. They still don't have any evidence. They still don't have any evidence, and all they have is, gosh, the FBI was concerned. Oh, Trump's behavior was erratic. All innuendo, insinuation, smoke, but no fire. Gosh, so many things going on. This suspicion is everywhere. Oh, suspicion. What about money? 85 donors giving $156 million to the Clinton Foundation and, and Secretary Hillary Clinton meeting them as, sec, as Secretary of State. No, no, you can't prove anything. What about $10 billion raised and lost in Haiti? I can't prove anything. What about the weapons deals? David Sirota uh, uh, broke that story with Andrew Perez. I can't prove anything. What about the Boeing deal where the Boeing gave money and then was helped out? I can't prove anything. What about uh, UBS was helped out even way more and gave money of speaking engagements? Can't prove anything. What about the 500 conflicts of interest from the Podesta emails? Can't prove anything. What about the FBI informant that said that, that, that he was literally taping Russian informants, Russian lobbyists, saying that they were uh, so happy? Can't prove I don't know if you, they were taping. They were being taped, but, you, you know, can't prove anything, can't prove anything, can't prove anything, can't prove anything, can't prove anything. Bill Clinton meeting with Russian, uh, Vladimir Putin at his home, can't prove anything. But Trump just literally just does what he's supposed to do as president. He can fire anyone in the executive branch. Criminal probe. And you know who started the criminal probe? He, he is now has a grand jury investigating him, Andrew McCabe. William Barr needs to start with Andrew McCabe. There's a grand jury investigating him right this second. William Barr needs to start with Andrew McCabe or Brian Pagliano. And then work your way to Comey and then to Clinton. Do your job, William Barr. Do your job. Hit subscribe right now. Check out my live streams. Check out HA Second Amendment. I have a pig's, uh, pig, <laughs> SIG P220 45 ACP. I am I'm trying out, and it's absolutely fantastic. One of the best grouping ever, and I started a new camera angle. I started a new camera angle now for my Second Amendment channel. It's really awesome. I've actually stepped up the quality, so it's really, really awesome. Thank you so very much. Hit subscribe right this second. Let's get to 200,000 very soon. Thank you.